With Professor Danielson, we've established the Colorectal Cancer Network, which brings together Oslo and Oxford universities. And once a year, we have a fantastic forum for discussion, an academic meeting in one of our Oxford colleges. We attract top speakers from around the world. We have a great audience that comes from Norway and from the UK. And it's all about exchange of ideas. The most precious thing that I have as a clinical scientist are my ideas and I work much better by sharing those ideas with people that I trust, with people that are clever and only through collaboration and working together can we develop the sorts of tools, the treatments, the drugs that we need to improve the lot of the cancer patient. Where do we go next with Do More? We've developed what we call some wonderful prognostic tools that allows me to be able to inform patients about the likelihood of their cancer coming back. Really important information that allows me to also um, select what patients I want to give chemotherapy to. But where we go next I think is with prediction. Prediction is actually being able to work out which of the many anti-cancer drugs that I use would be best used for an individual patient. So we've cracked prognosis but let's look at prediction and see if we can develop tools that will allow me to choose from my armamentarium of different chemotherapy drugs what the best combinations, the best treatments, the best drugs would be. So that's our next big challenge. But one that I think that we're up to, if we build on our past successes, with this fantastic team that Hover has assembled, I think we can make real inroads to developing new predictive markers.